What's going on guys? Comes to back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we are going to be going over the August Player of the Month and Tops Now cards. They did recently just have the Twitch developer live stream on twitch.tv slash San Diego Studios and I am going to be covering it and going over all the players that did get cards. Quickly, if you guys could leave a like down below, it definitely does help me out a ton. Subscribe if you guys are new, really would appreciate that as well. But let's get right into it. Keep in mind, I should be having a video coming out later talking about moments extreme and the brand new signature team set that is going to be releasing uh tomorrow all of this content is going to be dropping on friday along with brand new tops now cards player of the month the new lightning diamond all of that jazz big content update tomorrow hopefully it's gonna rival 2k you guys probably know that game's coming out tomorrow so they definitely made sure to have a heavy hitting update so let's get right into it um they started this time with uh the diamonds and this one we have a 91 overall carlos santana definitely deserved I've talked about this for quite some time now he's had such a good season for the Indians and I really think he does deserve a diamond and he's gonna get it here um, as a tops now card and as you guys can see switch hitter 75 100 contact 95 70 power 94 vision 71 fielding 32 speed um, and he does have a catcher secondary still so maybe you're gonna want to put him behind the plate you know still a switch hitting guy with some pretty good offensive capabilities not all that fast behind the plate um um, and we cannot see his blocking. I'm not too sure what that blocking is going to look like. But if it's anything historic like how MLB 19 has gone, it probably doesn't matter all that much. So that's Carlos Santana. Pretty cool card. On to the next one. Another top snow card. We have a 90 overall Jonathan Villar, who uh, did get this card for hitting for it this cycle. This card looks decent. 97, 89 contact, uh, 95, 70 power, 65 vision, nothing too crazy. 58 fielding. Of course, because it's a top snow card, obviously it wouldn't have good fielding. <laughs> Uh, 85 speed, 91 stealing. This card looks decent, can play pretty much the whole infield besides catcher, and then also sev uh, center field as a secondary as well. I mean, it's another switch hitter, you know, good speed, good contact, you know, good overall card, except for the defense really is the downside once again. Uh, here we have a 90 overall Jose Quintana for the Chicago Cubs, having a really solid month. You Darvish did not get a card. However, I think he really did deserve one, but you know, that's whatever. He already had a diamond flashback, so I guess that makes sense. Um, so moving on, we have 86 stamina, 81 hits per nine, 95 K9, 82 walks per nine, 60 home runs per nine. Not the greatest right there. Pitches, he throws a fastball and a sinker, changeup and a curveball. Not bad pitch mix. Would like to see a little bit better. Um, he doesn't throw all that hard, about 93 miles per hour. A soft tossing lefty uh, starting pitcher, kind of Cliff Lee-esque, except not as good of control. So this doesn't look like too great of a card, more of a set card, although it is a 90 overall. Here we have an 89 overall Eddie Escobar who does look pretty interesting to me of course is going to fit in nice on my all-time Minnesota Twins slash all-time Tampa Bay Rays team um, this card looks good they did boost his fielding a little bit I think I'm not too sure uh, 73 fielding 62 arm second base is his primary 62 we uh 62 arm strength is a bit of a pool noodle, but at the same point, it doesn't really matter. He can play once again just about anywhere except for center field is the only spot. He does not have a secondary. 81, 85 contact, 95, 85 power, 74 vision, 61 speed. This looks like a solid card all the way around, and it once again is another switch hitter because we cannot have any cards that aren't switch hitters, which is good to see. I like to see switch hitters be added into the game and especially good diamond hitting ones like Eddie Escobar. On to the next one we have will smith a lot of people looking forward to this card the catcher who really struck lightning in a bottle really got off to a hot start with the dodgers and building a lot of hype around his name um 9269 contact 95 78 power 49 vision a little bit light right there 72 fielding 74 blocking 75 arm strength nothing crazy behind the dish but he does have about 70 speed so this is kind of like jason kendall except more power oriented rather than contact like jason kendall is and one once again, not great defense, just like the Jason Kendall, the 87 overall. Um, this looks like a decent card, can also play third base. I don't know if I'd recommend that necessarily with only uh, 67 fielding, which is bronze defense if you put him over at third base, but it's there. If you really want to, go ahead and knock yourself out. Um, next up, we have a... Uh, 
Kikuchi for the Seattle Mariners. They did not show his stats, unfortunately, um, but he did get a card, 86 overall diamond. On to the next one. They did show the stats for 86 overall Eric Thames. This card looks pretty nice. 81, 56 contact, 106, 74 power, 49 vision, 96 clutch, 50 speed, 60 fielding. Uh, first base primary can play the entire outfield. Not very well, however, going to have bronze defense. Um, this could be a pinch hitting card if you guys liked his lightning diamond, his player of the month card. In MLB 17 and enjoyed his batting stance. Maybe you're going to enjoy this card as well. Nothing too crazy. 86 overall diamond for Eric Thames. Uh, and then lastly, three golds. We got uh, Victor Cartini for the Chicago Cubs, uh, Eisen Diaz, and then Lance Thomas rounding out the three golds that we got within the tops now. So they are still rocking golds in tops now, which is whatever. I'm, you know, okay with that because they have switched from all diamonds to player of the month. So I am happy about that. And speaking a player of the month let's get right into that starting off with Jorge Soler I quickly want to say I am very surprised I predicted player of the month almost entirely right it was actually really crazy if you guys watched my prediction video of that but Jorge Soler 112 114 power 47 vision 48 fielding. Um, there's not much else to say about this card. It's going to be really tough to use. I could see this being a great card to mess around with in Battle Royale, but as far as rank seasons, you're pretty much asking to get shellackled if you have 48 fielding out there. And, you know, 47 vision as well. It kind of looks like one of the home run derby cards a little bit. 70 speed, uh, 69, 80 contact. Not bad, you know, definitely deserving. Jorge Soler did just hit his 40th home run on the season, I believe, today or yesterday. Um, so, a hell of a season, unfortunately. Um, his fielding is just not good enough to where he is necessarily usable in online ranked play. But that's Jorge Soler. The next one, we have Trevor May, another guy who I predicted correctly. Um, this card looks pretty solid. They did take a pitch away from him. I think that's his two-seamer from his live series, which is a bit of a drawback. But, you know, it's still, you know, a fastball, a curveball, a slider, and a changeup. Not bad pitch mix. Um, 90 overall, 33 stamina, 102 hit 9, 108 K9, 73 walks per 9, 69 home runs per nine once again a little light. You guys know how important that stat is this year to keeping the ball in the ballpark and getting, um, having your opponent get those lined up center greens go right at your outfielders. Uh, 109 pitch clutch, which is good though. It throws about 96, 97 miles per hour. 93 break. This card looks pretty good. 90 overall reliever. If he's relatively cheap, I don't know how much Seth Lugo and Tommy Canely ended up going for, but that's a pretty solid card. I would say so myself uh, for Trevor May. Of course, MLB the show ambassador. So Maybe that helped a little bit, like I said in my prediction video, but nonetheless, he did deserve it regardless. Uh, we have a Gio Urshela here, 90 overall once again, as I predicted, and they did boost his fielding quite substantially up to 80 fielding, uh, 75 reaction, and 71 arm strength. So that is good for gold defense. Still a little bit weak arm-wise, but that is able to get the job done at third, and he's a good hitter as well. 99, 116 contact, 79, 93 power, 74 vision, 43 speed. This is a very solid well-rounded card can also play first second and shortstop big fan of this one like i said oftentimes they don't really bother in increasing the defensive stats of these cards um but this time they did so you know, if they didn't do that, this Urshela would be a lot worse, and I wouldn't be so high on it, but I think this is a great card. You know, it's actually serviceable defensively and pretty good offensively, so um, if you guys are a Yankees fan looking for an all-time Yankees team build or something like that, this could be a great card to plug in right there. Uh, next, we have a Jack Flathery. Um, he got a 91 overall card, as I predicted once again. 91 stamina, 91 hits per nine, 94 K per nine, 70 walks per nine, 69 home runs per nine. Seems like a little bit of a trend. I don't know if they purposely did that. Have a little bit of uh, that kind of mind, but 95 uh, break doesn't throw oh, throws decently hard about 96 miles per hour on that four seamer uh, has a slider, two seamer, knuckle curveball and a change up. Um, this card looks all right. They did boost his stamina, which is what I was talking about on my prediction video. I was really curious if they were going to do that, but they did. So that's Jack Flathery. Uh, moving on to our other cards. We got Mark Canna right here. 110 94 splits versus righties. 70 fielding out in center field can play both the corners in the infield and the outfield. Uh, nothing too crazy right here, but for A's fans, you know, that is a pretty cool card. Staying in the AL West, Tom Murphy did get a card. 108-115 splits versus lefties for a catcher. However, only 36 vision, but decent enough behind the dish. 82 arm strength and 78 blocking. 64 speed as well. So this is a kind of interesting card. Maybe you could mess around with that in Battle Royale once again. Um, some guys they didn't show the stats for. Nick Anderson, I was debating putting him on my prediction 
options, but I decided to go with uh, Emilio Pagan. Um, but he did get a card right there, 86 overall, um, AL Player of the Month or AL Reliever of the Month. Uh, staying with the Reyes, Ryan Yarbrough did, was, uh, did also get a card, damn it, if I can use my words. Um, so I'm happy he got a card as well as I predicted. And then finally, moving on to the Lightning guy, it is going to be Nicholas Castellanos, who I thought was going to get a regular card, but he did get the Player of the Month. And they boosted his defense, which was necessary otherwise this card would be a bit of a yikes from me but this is a solid card to say the least 97 124 contact 104 112 power 72 vision not great but he does have good contact to kind of counteract that in my opinion 61 speed 74 fielding 75 reaction can play first third left and right field so all the corners once again but right field is his primary position the arm strength at 69 is still a little bit low in my opinion to want to have out there in competitive ranked play at right field I would recommend maybe this is a guy that you want to slide over to left field or try your odds at first base if you're not happy or content with Frank Thomas Lou Gehrig some of those guys but otherwise than that I think it's a great offensive card I think it's a good choice I still think Aristides Aquino probably deserved it a little bit more they jumped the gun too early on giving him that Tom now card but otherwise I think it is a pretty solid round we did get a lot of cards I think more or less we got the guys who deserved it and I think the statistics go ahead and follow and there should be some cool cards so um, they have just released some moments extreme and signature teams new so i'm gonna go ahead and cover that but if you guys did enjoy this one make sure to like that below because you guys are great today there goes